Landing freelance writing jobs can be really difficult, especially with all of the other competition. When you apply for a gig or pitch somebody, there's probably hundreds of other writers pitching as well. That can be demotivating, and then you don't end up pitching as many prospects, you don't get as many clients, and your income suffers. But honestly, it doesn't actually have to be that way, and it's a lot easier than you think. I want you to keep those things in mind because in today's video, I'll be teaching you 11 ways to get more freelance writing jobs. I've used these over the eight to nine years that I've been copywriting and growing my online writing business. So I'll be sharing my strategies and what I think works the best. Number one is something called cold calling 2.0, but before you leave, it's not actually picking up the phone and calling businesses because I'm probably just like you. I didn't really enjoy that. I never looked forward to it. And it wasn't something that I personally wanted to do. It can make you really anxious. You need to call about a hundred businesses to maybe get one that's interested. So for me, I wanted to do something a lot more efficient with my time. And that's where cold emailing comes along. But this system from Aaron Ross in his book, Predictable Revenue, is called Cold Calling 2.0. Aaron Ross joined Salesforce, which is a CRM company, and he alone increased their annual revenue by $100 million, and it was through this system. Now, I read this book. I took one to two years to master the actual system, spend the money, spend the effort and the time, and this is what I came up with. First, you have to identify your ideal lead or client. Maybe for you, it's a startup, it might be SaaS companies. For me, I tend to work mostly with startups and SaaS companies for my copywriting services. Maybe you wanna work with dentists or lawyers. You can find a very specific niche that you enjoy writing in and that you have experience with. And you also wanna think about the decision makers in those companies. Now, if you're a copywriter like me, it's probably going to be a CMO, a marketing director, a marketing manager, some kind of marketing exec. If it's a small enough company, you actually might be working with the founder and the CEO as well. This is also what we call a buyer persona or an ICP, ideal client profile, that maps out who we're trying to target and work with. Secondly, you need to get their contact information. Now, I'm a huge fan of Hunter.io. I've used this tool for years. I mention it all the time. I really love it. And what you can do is actually take the domain name of any company you're targeting, put it into Hunter, and it'll actually give you all the people's information inside that company. Primarily, we're looking for their first name, their company name, and their email, but you also get their phone numbers, social profiles, and other data you can also use. So one of the reasons that cold emailing always goes wrong and most people never do it right is because they're not personalizing the email and putting a lot of research into each lead. For example, one of my students inside my course, Wise Copy, that teaches people how to grow a profitable writing business, used my cold emailing system and actually generated up to six figures in a single month and that system is actually very similar to the predictable revenue system in the sense that it's all about finding those decision makers, sending them a personalized email, and following up on a regular basis. So now when you actually send out this email to a lead, what I want you to do is personalize it in the subject line with their first name or the company name. Always welcome them with their first name. I want you to make a custom compliment or observation about the business. Maybe they got venture capital recently. They have some cool clients like fortune companies. And then you want to introduce yourself and the opportunity to work together. Maybe you're a content writer and you notice that their blog hasn't been updated in a couple months. Let that be known and then introduce your services after that, but always talk about the benefits of working with you. That means generating more traffic, leads, revenue, generating more growth, because that's really what a business wants. I also want you to use social proof if possible. So when I was doing a lot of cold emailing, I'd mention that I've written for Marketo, Neil Patel, GoDaddy, and use those big names to essentially back myself up. And then you wanna end it with a call to action or a question asking if they need help with content or copy or even booking a meeting. After this, make sure that you're sending a follow-up email every couple of days. You can share content, ask questions, see if there's a good day for a meeting, and just make sure to send a few follow-ups because that's where the success tends to be. Number two is job boards. This is what I recommend for all of my students and beginner writers. It's probably the easiest way to get online writing jobs nowadays. And even though there's tons of competition, I can tell you as a writer myself, and someone that actually has hired junior writers on these job boards is that the competition actually isn't as bad as you think. A lot of job listings will ask you to send portfolio pieces, use a keyword, email a certain address instead of using the application form, and they'll have unique steps. And if you don't follow those, you're not gonna get accepted. So really all you have to do, one, is make sure that you're really proficient at what they're asking for. You're pitching the right jobs based on your own skills and interests, but also you're really following the description and the steps. So I recommend going onto job boards like Pro Blogger, Blogging Pro, Flex Jobs, Contina is really good as well. And you can go there, check out these every day because they're updated super often, pitch any new jobs, and just like with cold emailing, make sure to follow up on a regular basis. Number three is Reddit, because after all, they do say that there's a Reddit for everything, and there absolutely are tons of subreddits for writing, getting freelance jobs, and copywriting. So now with Reddit, it's pretty cool because you can go to these subreddits and they work in two different ways. You can either pitch gigs and listings that are on there, 
businesses will list exactly what they want, how much they're paying, information like that. Or they actually allow you to promote your own skills and services. So you can go to a freelance subreddit like Writers for Hire and make a post promoting yourself. You can also go to subreddits like For Hire, B2B For Hire, and you'll find copywriting and freelance related jobs. And once again, they'll have information in there about how to pitch them, what they're looking for, requirements, and payment. Number four is pretty similar to job boards because this is tweets from job boards. In some cases on Twitter, job boards will actually tweet out jobs they haven't posted on their website. So in this case, you're actually getting an opportunity that many people don't actually know about, and it might have a higher conversion rate. So what I want you to do is go follow job boards on Twitter and other social accounts as well. What we often find is that they'll actually share content, new jobs and opportunities that they aren't posting on their website. Number five is using LinkedIn to get jobs and clients. So here's a cool way you can use LinkedIn to start getting some freelance writing gigs. Number one is similar to cold emailing. I want you to find companies you want to work with, find the decision maker through the people section of their company page, such as a CMO, CEO, founder, someone in a marketing executive kind of position and then go to their profile and send them a customized pitch. Just like with cold emailing, make sure that it uses their first name, it uses their company name, and you also make a custom observation or compliment to show that you've actually done your research. Then you wanna flow that into your services, social proof, how you can help them, and end it with a call to action. Now do this on a regular basis, and you're definitely bound to get a lot of responses and meetings booked, but another way you can use LinkedIn that a lot of people don't know about is actually going to the job section. So there's freelance writing jobs, copywriting jobs, and similar positions listed all the time on LinkedIn. You just have to go to the job section, search for a keyword, and you can actually use your LinkedIn profile as a resume itself. Or what you can do is mix both, find a job that's listed, go to that company's page, and repeat the process for the outreach. And this brings me to number six, which is leveraging your network because 85% of jobs are filled through networking. How often have you met somebody or known someone that got a really good career or copywriting gig just through their network and referrals? This happens again and again, and it's one of the best ways to actually get freelance writing jobs. So what you can actually do is hop on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, even use your email and send out a message to anybody you know that could get you a possible gig or job. You might send out a message saying that you're offering freelance writing services, and you're looking for more work. And if anyone can get you in touch with the right people, you'd really appreciate that. And you'd be really surprised how often this works. For example, if you're on LinkedIn and you have hundreds or thousands of connections, there's probably someone that's bound to actually help you out here. Now you can also use your email, as I mentioned, to email very specific people in your network, but social media tends to be the best because you can reach the most amount of people at once. Number seven is a pretty interesting one because traditionally I would always recommend that you go to conferences and conventions and networking events, but obviously because of the whole global situation right now, that isn't really a thing depending on where you're living. I'm here in the greater Toronto area and everything is completely locked down. Let me know how it is for you down in the comments. But we can actually do instead is go to virtual networking events and summits. Now, if you go into websites like Meetup or Eventbrite, a lot of the things that were held in person are just online now. That means you can get a ticket. A lot of them are free. You're going to attend these on Zoom, Google Hangouts, or some other software like that. And you can still connect and meet people. You can give them your website, your social profiles, and you can still stay connected in that way. And it's a great way to get your word out. And also, it's a really good skill to build a network and meet people. And that'll translate to your day to day life. Number eight is my favorite because it's how I get all of my high paying copywriting and content writing clients. And that's actually through blogging, SEO, and inbound marketing as a whole. Now, as a writer, it only makes sense that you should be writing and blogging because it's what you're good at. Now, when you write SEO blog posts, it helps you get traffic, brand awareness, and search engine equity. And if you're targeting the right topics about copywriting, how to hire copywriters, content writing, content marketing, things like that, or niche specific topics, you're gonna get really high quality traffic coming to you, learning about what you do, seeing your skill as a writer, and they very well may reach out to you. And in fact, 93% of companies use inbound marketing right now. If you want to learn more about SEO and content marketing to do this, go into the description, get my free courses, and that'll help you through everything. Number nine is guest posting. Now, this is where you guest author on another website. You essentially have your photo and your byline on an article, but it's on someone else's blog. What's really cool about this is you get to leverage their traffic and their audience. So instead of blogging for years to build up that million views a year kind of audience, you're able to instantly post on their network, get that exposure without actually having to build it yourself. It also gives you a really good backlink to your website, which boosts your SEO. And also it's gonna be massive exposure to the right audience. 
Number 10 is receiving subcontracted work from agencies. So when a marketing agency has too much on their plate, they need somebody like you and I to hand that off to so they can focus on other projects and making their clients happy. Now, what's really cool about this is as the agency, they don't have to hire someone full time in house with benefits and insurance. They can find someone like us, a contractor, a freelancer, pay less and still get a really good job done. And that benefits us because we can work with many different clients and get their overflow work. Number 11, last but not least, is growing a podcast. Now I've been growing a podcast myself, getting really interesting guests on, doing solo episodes, and it's been a really awesome way to actually connect with people, grow my marketing, and also get clients. And I find not only do the guests sometimes turn into clients for me, but just the reach and marketing it and getting the traffic from the podcast episodes itself actually gets me clients and opportunities. And starting a podcast is really popular these days. It's one of the best marketing channels. It's actually a lot easier than you might think. All you have to do is take a software like OBS or Audacity, which are completely free, get a nice clip on mic or a Blue Yeti, get a camera if you need it as well, and then you can start recording episodes. I always recommend when you're doing any kind of content marketing, like with the blogging I mentioned, that you talk about topics that your customers would care about. So think about what your client will be asking, what keeps them up at night, their pain points, what they really want to learn about, and then turn that into a podcast. Make sure you're promoting it on social media, you get guests on, you're promoting it to your email list, and then that's gonna get you plenty of clients in the long term, and you're growing a really profitable marketing asset. Writing online to make money is awesome. I've been growing a writing business for many, many years now, and it's super rewarding, lots of fun. You get to work with big companies, and it's awesome as being your own boss and not having to have a nine to five. Now, if you wanna learn more about freelance copywriting, you can go into the description, read my full blog post on this topic, and get my free courses. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and let me know in the comments what videos you would like to see. But other than that, thank you so much once again for watching and I'll catch you pretty soon.